The Roe v. Wade case has ties to East Texas. Our Mariah Condiff spoke with a local woman who was a silent force behind the case, and she says today's ruling took her back to 1970. Hi, and Sarah Weddington. Together we, we filed the first, the case that's now known as Roe v. Wade. Linda Coffey is the last living attorney of Roe v. Wade, a case done entirely pro bono. We wanted to, we wanted to change the law for other women to make, and I think it, it did, it was a big part in changing the law because every, almost everybody's heard of Roe versus Wade. Fast forward nearly 50 years later, Coffey says she was at home in Mineola when she found out the landmark case she originally filed was overturned. Now with Roe gone, let's be very clear. The health and life of women in this nation are now at risk. Uh, what was your first reaction when you woke up this morning and saw the news? Oh, it, it, it just reminded me of, of what happened about almost 50 years ago. She says the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade is, quote, bittersweet for her. But Coffee and her partner say activists should continue advocating for change. If you're old enough to vote, you should vote. Be involved, be active with the groups. We will need to help the ladies in the other states. Texas has a trigger law which will ban abortions 30 days after the Supreme Court releases its official judgment. In Mineola, I'm Mariah Condiff for CBS 19.